In this example, we're working with arrays, and there's a few things you got to watch out for, especially when you're taking user input to create the arrays. Now, in some programming languages, not JavaScript, but in some programming languages, you have to declare the maximum size of an array before you can use it. JavaScript doesn't do that. Your arrays can grow. So you just need to declare a variable, var, var grades, with the brackets here. This creates an empty array. Then I have a var grade equals 5, which I will change here, but that's my while grade not equal equals 0. That's my trigger, so we don't want it to start with it 0 because that will make it not run the way I want it to. Then we've got total of 0 and a counter of 0. So I've got an alert for my users, enter 0 when you're done entering the grades. And then while grade is not equal to 0, it's going to prompt for enter the test score. It's going to convert it to an int, and then it's going to check to make sure it's not 0, because if it's 0, we don't want to add it to the end of the array, because that, because that would affect our results on how we average it. So that's in critically important. So as long as it's not 0, we'll have grades counter equals grade. So we're incrementing counter right here, counter plus plus. So that will keep adding the next item onto the end of the array. And then we can go through the array, and I'm doing this two times. We could actually do this in one spot, but I'm just showing you that we can do multiple things to it. But it would totally work the same way if I commented this out. And this is a good way to do testing. We could totally just go through here and Make sure we change our increment variable and save that. So now we can add the total here and we can also have it write out the test score and I'm adding a break in HTML so each one goes onto a new line. I'm doing that instead of a paragraph because I don't want blank lines between them. And then we have our average test score. Let's go ahead and run this thing. Okay, so we're going to do 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 0. And it gives us our grade for each test and our average score of 80. So that's a simple way for working with arrays. And you'll notice that arrays and for loops work perfectly together. For loops are one of the easiest ways to step through an array.